Hello, this is Geotechland, and today I'll be playing the MUPIN64 Plus emulator. This is the Linux version, which I'm running on Ubuntu. And let's take a look at my settings here real quick. I'm using the MUPIN64 Plus Rice uh, plugin here. So the settings I have my first ran this it did was having issues working on I think it was on VI origin update or VI or origin change I had to switch it to oh something else here um, some of these worked but I just kind of stuck with this one and so this emulator has been around for a few years actually I I've actually used this like maybe around 2000 in 2011 I tried it. It wasn't good at all. Um, uh, even then, the Project 64 emulator, which is available for Windows and Android, that worked a lot better. Um, I had no real issues with this, and so I kind of stayed away from this. But looking for a Linux uh, 64 Intel 64 emulator, I decided to give this another shot. I think they've released a 2.5 in the year 2015 and uh, I wasn't expecting it to run really good but I was surprised it, it wasn't running too bad have a few of ROMs here and um, I can say not every game runs uh, smooth um, some run smoother than others and so I'm, I'm gonna play for you the ones that I believe run well The good thing about this emulator is that it actually runs in 4K. So right now it's running to my monitor's resolution. And boy, I must say it looks beautiful. I did not expect this to run this good, or at least this game run this good on here. Just because, you know, in the past I've used this emulator. And honestly, this, uh, my Upin Plus, uh, creators it just looks like they don't really support the emulator that much or it's really slow and that's part of the reason why I wanted to make this video because I wanted them to encourage them to you know come up with even more improvements on it I don't think they have a patreon page which is something I wish they did because you know it could allow me and others to contribute to them and for them to work on this and so, I th you know, the biggest reason why I'm making this video, and I mean, if, if not my MUPIN64 to uh, start making more updates, I'm hoping to encourage Project64, which they do have a Patreon page, and, a, and they released their emulator for Android. I'm hoping they could this video would encourage them to you know port their emulator to Linux. Yeah, this menu runs pretty slow here. So once I get into the game, it runs pretty good. So far I haven't found any issues but one and that is this little glitch you see there instead of showing link it shows that graphical glitch I guess but honestly other than that the game runs smooth let's go check out the village look check it out this is Kokiri village in 4k although you guys probably won't or seen this in like a, a crappy 1080p quality that's just because of the recording but all right let's try 
Super Mario Kart 64. Now one other glitch that I see is when it comes to resizing. And you might see it in the next game I try here. Yeah, there's a weird funky issue that sometimes when I resize the window to go to full screen, it'll have like some weird glitch. But yep, this game looks pretty beautiful right now. I was trying to drift. Trying to get that little boost you get. Oh, star. I'm just gonna cut through here. All right. Usually I like to do a first lap only. All right, one more here. One of my favorite games, Quest 64. And this is one of those that gets very glitchy when I try resizing. Or it doesn't give me a full 16 by nine. but it works beautifully. And so, so far I've shown you all the games that run pretty good. A lot of the other games you see in my list there, they don't run too smooth. I think Perfect Dark, this last game I tried, it was not running smooth. Rampage I think had issues too, like it ran pretty slow. But again, they're running and they look really nice. And so I feel like a few tweaks here and there. And this is going to be a very viable Linux N64 emulator. So hopefully you guys can reach out to the team and kind of encourage them and let them know they have our support. Well, there you guys have it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.